With the end of apartheid, South Africa broke free from an extractive political and economic system. The country reached a level of inclusion that was previously hardly imaginable. But many challenges still lie ahead to consolidate a political and economic system that is sufficiently inclusive to be stable and prosperous in the longer term. Shortly before the April 2014 elections, the Institute for Security Studies published three scenarios for South Africa out to 2030. Bafana Bafana described the current uninspiring pathway. Mandela Magic relied on the determined implementation of the National Development Plan. In a nation divided, competition over resources fuels factional politics and South Africa's international credit rating is reduced to junk status. Since South Africa's structural growth prospects are quite healthy, the economy grows under all three scenarios. But only Mandela Magic sees rapid enough growth to reduce unemployment, lessen inequality and alleviate extreme poverty. In our latest scenarios, we adjust our growth forecasts downwards. Once we factor in the impact of the electricity shortages, we expect South Africa to grow slower than other upper-middle-income countries and the rest of Africa. We still expect things to get better, but slowly. Having lost some support during the 2014 elections, the ANC is likely to continue to lose popularity with each successive election. Slow growth will have implications for the governing party, together with a rapid increase in the number of born-free voters, continued urbanization and improvements in education. Support for opposition parties will grow. Unemployment will remain a huge challenge. And this is despite the fact that the number of employed people is set to increase from 15 to 25 million by 2030. More people earning wages will increase tax revenues, the size of the economy will expand and improve social stability. The size of the black middle class will continue to grow in leaps and bounds, although inequality will remain stubbornly high. But the margin for error has become slim. Government regulation and the plethora of overlapping and divergent policies serve as a wet blanket over the economy. Insufficient efforts are being made to grow the economy as the ruling party opts for an exclusive and divisive policy agenda. South Africa needs to rediscover the political inclusion that lay at the heart of the miracle of its transition to democracy. Without political inclusion, our economy will not prosper in the longer term.